Okay, so for today's recording, we're going to do a little lecture on the paneling tools uh, plugin. It's really helpful. You can get some geometries that look almost like something you could produce on Grasshopper, and it's pretty quick and easy to do. So you can see on my tab, I have the paneling tools tab here. Now, you don't need to go to Food for Rhino to download uh, this plugin. You can just simply type in Package Manager. You look at the screen. And if I search Paneling, and it's only with one L, you can see that the Paneling Tools is here. I already have it installed, so I don't need to put it in there. But you, all you have to do is just click on this and then click on the Install button, and you can go ahead. So this is just the example that we're going to do and I'm just going to show you the steps required to get to this point. So let me start with a uh, brand new screen. So I am going to draw a plane, just a surface. Let me put it on shaded. I want to form the surface, so I'm going to go to Cage Edit. I'm going to type that, select the object, hit Enter. I always want to hit the bounding box prompt, and then I'm going to hit Enter again. I'm just going to go with the default point count, and I just want to put a little bit of an arch just so the geometry looks a little bit more interesting. Maybe I'll go to the points here and just make it look maybe more like a tent. Okay, so I want to create that custom geometry, uh, custom pattern, and have it as a as a as a an attractor condition. So I'm gonna just draw something. I'm going to go to my curve interpolate points and I just want to try to draw an interesting pattern that I can have an attractor condition. Just now before I start plugging in the 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 commands I want to set up this sh this geometry. The first step is I want to create a bounding box for this geometry. And the second step is that I want to create a centroid where I can find what the center of this geometry is. So I'm going to go to my Analyze tool. I want to go to Bounding Box. And I'm going to select this and hit Enter. This is also a very typical command in Grasshopper. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to create a centroid, and you'll see how that plays into effect. So I'm going to go centroid, area centroid. So I'm going to select the surface as the centroid, uh, because that's, and then you'll see what I'm going to do. So to set up my paneling, uh, geometry. I click on the paneling tools. I go to create paneling grid and I want to click on surface domain numbers. That's basically going to create the modules on the surface. So I'm going to select the surface. I'm going to hit enter. Now it's already defaulted at 25 by 25 so I can obviously change this. So if I click on this, let's say I put 20 I can click on this, I put 20 as well, uh, or maybe I want to make this 30. No, actually I'll keep this at 20, I'll keep the first one maybe at 30, yeah, because that seems more, more equidistant. Now I want to create a curve attractor, so I'm just going to go and click on uh, the curve interpolate, and I'm just going to make basically I'm just going to snap to all the points on this grid. So 
I want to create this attractor condition. So I am going to go to the paneling tools, create paneling from grid. Actually, I'm going to go to paneling from grid, and I want to do panel custom 2D variable. So it's asking me for the paneling points. So I'm going to select the points. It's asking me to select the base surface. I'm going to select that. Now, it's giving me a whole series of prompts. So already the, the, the default is the curve attractor, but if I click on this, you'll see it has other prompts as well. You can do a point attractor, a curve attractor, randomization, bitmap, draft angle, but I'm going to click on curve attractor for the sake of this lesson. So I'm going to hit enter. It's asking me to select the curve, so I'm going to select this curve. It's asking me to select the pattern that I want to use, so I'm going to select this. It's asking me to select the objects to define the bounding box of unit pattern, so that's this box right here. I'm going to hit enter, and it's select the origin point, so we know that this is the origin point, so I'm going to select that. So the minimum scale is 0.9. Let's see what the defaults show. Maximum scale is 0.1. And as you can see, we have created an attractor. So we can see how this works better. Let me copy this. I am going to split this geometry with the patterns, and let's see how our surface looks. So, so you can see that we were able to create a very customized paneling system. Uh, it looks you know, very similar to something you can do in Grasshopper. And I will be able to do a, a little tutorial on that as well, how to do, use a, a, a paneling component in, in Grasshopper. But as you can see with the, pan, with the paneling tools plugin, you can create some very interesting uh, geometries. Uh, and if you go through the prompts, uh, I'm just showing you what's possible for the 2D prompt, but in the 2D prompt, you have a lot of different prompts that you can use to play around. Thank you.